the menu bar today we are going to create is this I have already opened Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 now let me open an HTML document uh, let me save up the document first let me save up a new folder say menu bar now let me save this file inside menu bar uh, let me give title to be menu bar now let me make a style sheet your css document create let me first save it yeah, let me save it with the name of ext.css now let me attach this style sheet to my html document simply i will go in head section right click css style attach style sheet browse the file and ok so now so now my css file is attached now first let me create the unordered list ul tags and li tag href hash right now i'm using hash later on you can give link to your pages in your websites let me close li tag now let me copy and paste it up several times I'm applying class actor to my home item that we will define later. About this, products. services contact so now we have our list items here let me get this ul tag inside nav tag a new html file tag now let me apply some CSS. First, let me have buff. Let me have height of 32 pixels. Say background color to be corn flower blue. I'm using color name instead of hash code. Standard HTML color name. Now let me apply CSS to my UL items. List style none. So notice guys here we have dot along with our list items or when I will refresh the page that will be disappear as I have given list style to be none now, now let me reload the page see here I have my nav tag and 
the dots are disappear now let me apply CSS to my anchor pad first let me have it float left so they will float left to each other instead of list let me have text decoration to be none so the line below them will be disappear color let me have white first let me save up the document and let's preview now we have our links in white color and now we have got rid of underline in our anchor tag items now let's give up padding of top from top 0 pixels and from less than 50 pixels now let's save and let's preview see the padding has created spaces between them now let me align this text to the center text align center let's save and preview nothing changed but notice here now when I will give line height of 42 pixel height 42 pixel text will adjust itself in center now let's preview see line height centralizes the text vertically now let me apply CSS is when I hover on this list types property is also called as pseudo class so when I hover I want the background color to be white let's set up the document and let's preview see we have white color as our background but the text is not visible as the text color is also white so let me have color to be corn flower blue so now the text color will be corn flower blue See, now when I hover, I have text color as corn flower blue. Now let me change the color of body of the document. Say I want the background color to be black so let's save up the document and let's preview so far so good when I hover this I want radius to be 8 pixels See now when I hover, I have radius of 8 pixels. One well, last thing what I want to do is, I want to make a class active, which I have already applied to home.
to be bright. Let me have background color to be bright. Let me have radius again to be 8 pixels. Now, let me have the text color to be cornflower blue. Let's preview now. So far, so good. See, and now I have active class on my home. When I will leave about this page, I will have the active class on about this page. So I will move this class to about this page. Let's reload the page. So similarly, all the pages will be created. So this is done friends and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me, do contact me, do subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.